Hello, and welcome to Fiasco First Friday here on Roll20. I'm your host and Fiasco Chaos Coordinator, Jen Vaughn. My pronouns are she, they. Tonight, we bring you the beautiful, the floral, the over-the-top wedding of Regina. Oh my gosh, so excited. There's going to be tears, um, more tears, um, some happy screaming, and a little bit of squealing. If this is your first time on uh, at Fias Fiasco Friday, uh, please welcome, sit down, grab some snacks. We're about to start, and I will... Uh, head over to our little guest area in one moment. But a fiasco is a beautiful game made by Jason Morningstar and Bully Pulpit Games. Roll20, thank you so much for having us on your stream, your Twitch channel as one of our sponsors. Um, so this game is something, uh, and we'll be explaining the rules throughout, but it's something that you can pick up easily, either the physical version or here on Roll20. There are multiple play sets. Uh, every first Friday of the month, we play a different one. And this is our first time playing Regina's Wedding, so I'm very excited. Um, Fiasco is an easy, easy game. Uh, really no math, just a little bit of uh, role, or actually a lot of role playing. So in Fiasco, we have Act 1, the tilt, Act 2, and the aftermath. The four of us will be playing in scenes called acts, or scenes inside the act, excuse me. Um, and it is our choice when it is our character's turn to be the star of that scene, like say a movie or a vignette, we get to choose to either establish the scene, so we'll describe what's happening like in an opening shot and who else we'd like to be there, or we can choose to resolve the scene and pick if we want a negative or positive outcome for the character. And note, a positive outcome for one character might be a negative for another as well. And since the game is called Fiasco, the coin rarely flips up. Uh, the, the only way to win is to have a good time, which we always do. And we're very excited to with our friends. So uh, starting, with, uh, starting with Calvin, if you could please introduce yourself uh, and then also um, go ahead and let's pretend that we are... Uh, that chat is uh, filming, uh, you know, doing some video footage at the wedding. And so say something to Regina and, uh, ooh, you know, we didn't actually establish who that other person was. So maybe just say something to Regina first <laughs> to the camera. So. Okay. Hello. My name is Calvin. My pronouns are he, him. I am very happy, and very pleased to be the token cis guy on this cast. Um, always need one. You need a designated driver at all times. And uh, yeah, I'm playing the bride, Linda, who's getting married to Regina. Uh, and also, I am also the assistant caterer at my own wedding um, for reasons that will become apparent as the wedding unfolds. But Regina, my darling, I love you so much. I cannot wait for this beautiful day to be over. And uh, I hope that the, the savings on the catering is worth. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it, it better be worth. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you, Linda. Oh, we're so happy that you are having your great day with Regina. Speaking of Ray, please introduce yourself and, uh, you know, a lovely message to Linda, hopefully. <laughs> Of course, of course. So, uh, hi, my name is Ray. My pronouns are he, they. And yeah, I'm so happy to be part of a happy couple. I am playing Regina. So I promised everyone I wasn't going to be a bridezilla about this. And in my mind, I was very calm the whole time. And it was not true on the outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I tried my best. Uh, and so in the, in the video message, uh, I think it's a moment where I'm trying to, there's a photographer nearby on the other side and I'm trying to just steal this moment away with the camera in order for me to, to, to talk to, to Linda. And, uh, and I say, Linda, this is, I promise this is going to be the best day of our lives, the first day of our lives together. And it's going to be apps. And then there's like chaos in the background that's like happening. And there's the sound of a rip. It's like, ah, uh, everything's perfect. Just perfect. Just like you, my love. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, uh, later married. Bye. <laughs> that's how the video ends up roughly. 
<laughs> uh, beautiful. Uh, that, for, that poor uh, cinematographer or video editor that's going to have to do the work to be like, oh, it was a very cute problem that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Picture of a cat with like a piece of bro broken pieces of veil. All right. And Jay, uh, please tell us about yourself and your character. Hi, I'm Jay. My pronouns are she, her. And I'm just really happy to be here to celebrate the love and life of you two. Just you're an amazing example of what love can be when two people truly commit to each other and they bring Excuse out me, Madam, the do you best. Need a refill? in each other. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay, Thank okay, you. Okay, okay, Thank okay. you so All much. Right. And I just want to say, I've seen how hard you guys work. And I want you to know that the couple that works together twerks together. I want to see you on the dance floor after these vows. Okay. To you too. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I'm sorry. What was your character's name? I think I missed it. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm saying Rebecca. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, and then I will be, um, nope, not that name. <laughs> All right, I keep picking names that are that also start with a C or an R and it's very rude. Uh, <laughs> okay, I will be, okay, oh God, okay. Um, hi, my name is Jen Vaughn in real life, uh, in my human skin, I would pronounce her she they, but I will be playing January uh, uh, and uh, whose pronouns are also she uh, or she, her. And uh, January is uh, uh, gets caught by the, the film people, cinematographer, I keep changing the name because I don't know what they're called. Um, <laughs> video film people who cost a lot of money and then a lot of people just hire their friends sometimes. Um, gets caught at the bar, sort of just leaning there in there. I'm gonna say uh, like a pristine lavender suit, like a thin tie, uh, just dressed to impress. Jen, and it's why just are you attacking me? <laughs> Listen, listen, we got to have some problems at this wedding. And maybe the problem is a friend named January, January Jubilee. Uh, and yeah, uh, January like looks at that, like turns to look at the camera and just sort of like, uh, just as to the bride -z, and then goes back to drinking. So, <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for doing your intro. So now we will go to our illustrious, gorgeous game board, please, uh, Jess. Uh, we have Jessica, who is our producer of Fawn and Games. And so on our game board, as you can see that we have in roll 20, uh, we have laid out, yeah, OK, cool, I'll move some stuff around. Um, we have uh, our relationships already set out next to one another between each of us, so I'm in that top left corner, and then Jay is uh, in the bottom left corner. We have our relationship uh, in between us that will uh, it will inform the decisions that we make uh, in the in the show. So as you can see, it is a pair of freeloaders in it for the open bar. And if that is not what a wedding is for, or freeloading off the buffet, you know, then I don't know what they're for. Um, <laughs> I'm also not married, so maybe that explains it. Um, so we also have two needs and an object, uh, but the thing that we need to choose alive is our moment. So this is uh, where one of the, this will be probably where the, like the culmination of the, uh, of the event takes place or like most of the show. So let me, I'm just gonna make these larger. And so whatever you all are feeling, especially the happy couple since you will be, Regina and Linda, Calvin and Ray. So we have, a bunch of, we have ceremonies, we have rehearsal, we have a reception, uh, the gathering of the clans. I'm not actually sure what that would mean. Maybe just the like families, the, the families. Yeah. The families. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling it in my Asian bones when the, <laughs> <laughs> the families have to meet. <laughs> I'm getting, uh, I'm getting war flashbacks. Okay. War yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, yeah, we don't know what we don't know how you two got together. So um, here, I'll grab a couple more. Neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a blur at camp one time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, also, we could so do the best good ones. When now, do and, these moments occur? So um, the entire uh, like story we're going to weave together does not have to take place only at this moment. We just have to make sure that we use this moment and. Uh, you could even use one of these lines if you want from that moment. But so if it's the ceremony, we'll make sure we, you know, it takes place at the ceremony. If it's, oh God. The, 
if it's the bachelorette right. party, we probably need to start there. Um, but then, you know, we can move. Do we? Do we? We could just flash back to it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you. Yes, that is. Yeah. Yes. And, and that also, you can do flashbacks. You can do flash forwards. Your scene could just be you doing something. It could be a montage as well. So, yeah. Any... I, I know exactly what I want to do with this bachelorette party moment. I know exactly oh. what I want to do with it. Okay. Uh, are you uh, Jay Ray? Are you uh, you good with that? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said that very oddly. Are we <laughs> we all happy with that? <laughs> Do you, J J Ray, take this moment? No, I'm teasing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I started to feel it in my bones. Okay, I was like, you're like, whoa. I, I, I do. <laughs> what if we all right. To? It's so too Cal late now. <laughs> Calvin, we'll put that one by you. Uh, Jay, I'm gonna let you pick one of these needs, or or the object. We're going to put that next to one of your relationships. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I hate the 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 ableist term on it, but the it's going to be hilarious. Yes. The fast yeah. food bag holding a wedding ring. Absolutely. Um, okay. Why would you? Oh do my that? gosh! Will well, it smell oh, like fries? I well, got clearly, it. clearly I, got it. I think that needs to go between us as the freeloaders. Um, it was supposed to be on the pillow that the the you know ring bearer was holding, but he was hungry. But it so was he, so he yeah. put the White Castle bag and then yeah. you know. White Castle, yes, excellent. <laughs> All right, uh, Ray, what would you like for you and Jay to get even with your Ooh. terrible parents or to get it off your chest? And you can determine obviously what those oh. are in game. And it's so funny because like, right? We don't actually know know each other, which is even more hilarious uh rebecca right is is okay um rebecca i want to say that it's like there's something going on with our parents on like either side i think that would be oh, all right that would be funny if that's okay with you yeah that's fine <laughs> okay 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 all right so calvin you and i will have to get it off our chest for our uh one of the needs um it doesn't necessarily have to be in a scene with the two of us but again could be helpful all right let me just double check can can everyone see these in the game? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, without further ado, let's do the thing. Let's get these two uh, married. So um, I'm happy to go first, but also if anyone has a scene that they, they just feel it already, um, just say, I would like to go and you can establish. I'm oh, sorry. I thought I heard someone be like, <laughs> no, no. Okay. All right. I will establish a scene uh, in which uh, January uh, is uh, actually at said White Castle <laughs> before the wedding in uh, the the purple uh, or lavender suit and runs into Rebecca also there. Um, okay, so uh, yes, so. Uh, Linda, Linda is texting January the catering order from White Castle continuously throughout oh, this entire Wait, scene. wait, the <laughs> my catering God. the wedding with White Castle. No, this feels like a Simpson meme moment. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> Caterer doing then, if like the I'm greasiest the reception I have ever been to. Yeah, yeah. January's just like, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. That's fine. Another I, order. Of I came here to eat before the wedding in case the food was bad, and you're telling me the decatur. I mean, let me save my money. Hold on, Rebecca. 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 We we met at that thing that one time, right? Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. And and, and Jay, what does Rebecca look like, or what's Rebecca wearing? Oh, okay. I'm I'm so lazy. Um, <laughs> short Rebecca curly hair. Looks gorgeous. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's all you have to say. You know? <laughs> she's gorgeous. She's tall. She's like five ten. She's got short curly hair, high cheekbones, higher than a Chinese wall, like whatever. And like, <laughs> well manicured. Like you'd think that she's the wedding planner, but she's literally just sneaking in to get food. Okay. All right. Yeah. I love I that. I love that for Rebecca. <laughs> uh, January is a uh, Kirby. In all the places that count, uh, uh, in this uh, lavender suit, uh, friend shaped. I love yeah, <laughs> friend shaped. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, a uh, very short, blunt, black-haired Bob, um, and uh, is also wearing, of course, sneakers with a suit because this wedding takes place in the month of. Uh, so, <laughs> <to> be... <laughs> 
and uh, is a yeah, but is also now realizing and it like has like one of those foldable uh, like grocery store bags with wheels because <laughs> is picking up you know five hundred dollars worth of mini sliders. They're gonna so have it, to close the White Castle. That's all the food. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, and I will say in these scenes. Sorry, I should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, you are feel free to join in as an NPC in someone else's scene as well. So, uh, but yeah, so January is um is like pulling out this money. She's like, okay, I that's all that's all the cash I have. That's all the cash I have. This better be. Is this an open bar tonight, Rebecca? Uh, I hope so. I mean, that's what I heard, and I don't want to waste my time. Yeah. Also, you're lucky. This is one of those White Castles that doesn't have a limit per person because, good God, <laughs> there are limits usually. At some white castles, yes. Apparently, we are Excuse we have me. reached a new low. <laughs> oh, yes, Excuse yes, me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, madam. If you're not going to order, I'm going to have to ask you to get out of line. Oh no! Oh, I'm I'm here to assist her with this large bag of of of, of sandwiches. I, I'm I'm support staff. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. And then no like, problem. Yeah, as January continues to count out bills, <laughs> like yes. just like, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, well, uh, let's um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a distraction and I need you to grab as many condiments as you can. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Not a problem. All of the condiments. Okay. We and then uh, one of those were like those environmentally friendly sacks that can turn into like a pill. Less. Yes. As, absolutely. Yeah. And then Air January, bends all the condiments into the bag. Yes. As January sets a small fire in the bathroom. And I think that's where the scene can end. Uh, <laughs> There's oh, definitely sorry. somebody smoking weed in that bathroom who was like, what is going on? Is that my phone? Yes. Yes. Hello, Rebecca? have you got the White Castle? Can we come Can we come back? I'm getting married. Hello. Oh my gosh, yes, we got we all need the, the food. White. We're coming, we're coming, we're on our way. Rebecca, get in the car! Oh, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming in the car! Jesus! Yeah, uh, y'all need to call the fireman or something because something's happening in there. I don't know. Uh, that's smoky chicken slider ring. I was getting was the barbecue sauce. I didn't see anything. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So the scene sort of fades out there. Um, <laughs> so how, I mean, I guess I didn't really give anyone a good option, but how do you think that scene went for my character, January? I think it was a very good character establishing moment. <laughs> I think, yeah. I feel, I feel like January is happy that she got the job done. But she's also a little flustered at the uh, amount of pressure that Linda is placing on her. Yes, as Linda. assistant assistant caterer. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. So maybe, a, what do you think, Ray? You think a positive or a negative for this one? I think it's the tie break. Ooh, I think. Oh, I'm going to GM mode. Uh, I'm going to say negative only because as you're leaving, like we see like these, like, you know, those, those, those cheaply printed posters. And apparently this is not the first white castle you have set on fire. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pattern. <laughs> right? And like, as you're leaving, someone looks and goes like, oh, I, I'd recognize that purple suit anywhere. Great. Wait, this is your super villain outfit? You can't wear this again. The purple perpetrator strikes again. Do the not serve. The purple perpetrator. Oh. Oh my God. The 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 okay. Um, for who would, who would like to go next? Um, to who would like to be the star of their next scene, you can either establish it like I did, or you can say you would like a positive or negative outcome, and then we will craft the scene around you. I mean, hmm. shouldn't the bride and I and the other bride have a scene now? Should Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll say, Calvin, that this is your scene. Uh, I mean, obviously it's both of you, but um, what would you like to do though? Where, when would you like this to take place? Are you two getting ready, or are you um, helping uh, guests from the airport? I think, I think, I think, I think Ray should answer this one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna say that. Ooh, are we? I feel like because. Regina is like, I'm so focused on everything going perfectly. We're not supposed to see each other before mm -hmm. we get married, but I am also freaking out, right? So 
uh if yeah so I, I think i'm like i'm trying to find a way to be able to like talk to you without seeing you <laughs> mm, okay right but it has to be physical because we try doing it through text and and my my hands are shaking too much and... okay so we're both in the bathroom <laughs> i'm in one stall in my dress and you're in the oh. other stall in your dress and this is how we are going to it's like the world's shittiest confessional Oh my gosh. Literally. Like double on tone for them. Yes, thank you. All oh right. my gosh. Yeah, yeah. And no, and, and I'm practicing, you know, so this is for people <laughs> more war flashbacks. When you have a huge dress on, you have to practice going to the bathroom. And so I'm like, I watched all the YouTube videos. I'm gonna I walk towards the stall with purpose, right? I walk towards the toilet with purpose. Okay. Like, practicing as I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. So as as you're going to the bathroom. As you're peeing, I'm trying to start this conversation. That's where we are here. So um, I don't know how this January sounded really flustered on the phone. I'm not sure whether the White Castle is going to be here in time. I know you don't want to hear that right now. I know this is very stressful for you. Could you please stop peeing? I'm trying to talk to you. The echo in here is ridiculous. Oh, sorry. I'm not actually peeing, my love. That was just me practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I'll stop making those noises now. Don't worry, real pee isn't happening. I've I've scheduled that for like sixty minutes from now, so it's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, you can't do that sixty minutes from now because sixty minutes from now is when the canopies are supposed to arrive, and you're going to have to. I, I need to get somebody to go and unpack all the lobster. Oh, lobster! Right. Um. Have Have you forgotten, my love, that I'm allergic to shellfish? Oh, they're not for you though. You're not eating any, right? Right. They're for the guests. You know what? You are absolutely correct, my love. And I start, you can see me like opening, going through. I know I, I placed those plastic gloves somewhere. I brought them <laughs> somewhere along, somewhere here. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I can I can reschedule the bathroom break. Everything is going perfectly. This is a perfect day. Everything is okay, perfectly, yes, perfectly so, fine. But, but also then why did you summon me into the bathroom? My dress is trailing. I think, oh my God, my hem is wet. My oh, no, is wet. no. No, no, it's 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 fine. It's it's hello, and then like I'm trying to call out to the bridal party. Like we have a wet hem in in stall four. No, please don't, please don't, please don't. I do not need any more stress on top of everything that is happening today. Okay, okay. Sorry. Jennifer, Jennifer oh, is. Yeah. I'm very sorry to say this. I know Jennifer is your closest friend. I know you hired her to cater this wedding, but Jennifer is a martinet. All right, she will not. Stop countermanding everything I say. I am the bride. I know I am assistant caterer to her chief caterer, and I know she went to that fancy New York culinary school or what the hell ever, but you need to tell her to loosen up. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're, getting no. we're happy, no. we're happy. I love you. We're happy. I love, I love you. you. I, I love you. you very, very much, okay? Yes, yes, everything is, everything but is perfect. You need to get Jennifer under control? Oh, I will blow a vein. Okay. It's going to happen. Yes. Don't, don't. I'll talk to Jennifer, my love, and you can focus on the catering. I mean, the wedding, right? Because um, the wedding is more important than the catering. Yes. Yes. Not according to the people we've invited. They will walk out if there's no food. Oh, I'm getting Asian flashbacks again. Okay. Yes. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. Uh, I say, yes. Yes, my love. Don't worry. Um, you know, I'll talk to Jennifer. Everything will is going according to plan. And there's a moment okay. where I, re I reach out to like touch the stall, <laughs> and, I'm, I, and I'm praying that you're also reaching out to I, touch I, it. I, I, I feel I hear the I hear the poop and I do the same thing. Like it's okay. We're getting married. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're getting married. We are 100 percent getting married. We are getting married, even if it kills us. Dun, dun, dun. And that feels like a great place to end that scene. If you oh, will. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, the schedule P. Yes. My hand right. is wet. My hand is wet. My hand is, is wet. wet. Um, is wet. So, so, Calvin, uh, we're saying that that was your scene, uh, I believe, because uh, okay. you uh, established it. But um, how do we, how do the rest of us feel that went for uh, Linda? Um, I mean, pardon me is thinking positively because Linda got to get things off her chest and tell and like, you know, share stress of the day, uh, but her hem is wet. And she also has a lot of 
shellfish that could kill her bride. But you know, big deal. What do you two think? It's about two tons of shellfish, by the way. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned because everyone I know who has shellfish allergies, it doesn't matter if they're eating it or not. If someone else is in the same room, they get in the anaphylaxis. So I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, you need to be more assertive and tell your, your future wife, hey, you're endangering me. Please think about me and not just like yourself or the impression you want to make of my guests. You got you to gotta speak up for yourself before your throat closes from the lobster. I'm just Jay, saying. Jay, Jay is making just strong saying. points. Jay's making strong points. I feel like Linda did not come off well in this scene. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a pushover there. I'm concerned. I'm genuinely worried. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll give you a negative for now. Um, uh, but again, yeah, there's still plenty of time to make sure this wedding goes through. <laughs> and then um, you survive the reception. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Jay or Ray, who would like to go next? Um, and you can also like switch. So Jay, you could have a scene with Kelvin, you know, um, you could also have a scene by yourself or with an NPC that someone else plays, so. Yeah, I, I was just in the scene. I'm happy to have um, Rebecca in the next one, right? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of wanted to explore why Rebecca became a wedding crasher when clearly yeah. there were so many other things you could do with your time. What is it about weddings that you secretly don't want to get too invested, but you also kind of want to go? Like it's not, oh. it's not just about the food. It's about mm -hmm. you wanting to be close to someone else who's going through a positive emotion that you wish you could oh. feel, but you don't wow. really get a chance to. Like okay. there's definitely something, something deep in there that Rebecca's kind of wanting to tell someone about, but doesn't know who to really trust with it. So Rebecca's in a coffee shop hours and hours before the wedding, just kind of like being thoughtful and someone else sits down next to her and they have a little chat. So that's the, the beginning of the scene. Ooh. And so Ella, whoever wants to jump in and be the NPC in the scene, I'm leaving, leaving it up to you guys who, who I'm, that person I'm, is. Who, I'm who, very who sorry, I know I just went, I know I just went to the previous scene, but I have the perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. No, please. That's fine. no problem. Yeah, it's not so just Rebecca, about food, so that'd yeah, be a, a, fun, a fun thing to do. <laughs> <Okay>. <sighs> So I am going to going to a wedding today. What about you? Um, listen, I know, I understand that you were the one who was supposed to be marrying Regina later. Re and Re that Regina? I saw, sorry, Reg is it Regina? Who's the Regina. Bride? Sorry. Regina. Yeah. Regina. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm not, I know, I know you would, I know that I know that it's meant to be your wedding and I know that it doesn't feel nice to have to be, you know, shuffled shuffled off to become I know we we couldn't even get you an invitation, but just the the bachelorette party was listen, I just there's something about her, okay? And I just couldn't she was already gonna get married to you. So I thought we might as well just save on costs. And how did, how is that saving on costs? What are you even talking about? We hadn't printed the invitations yet. I just thought if we crossed Rebecca off and wrote Linda on it, then, then it what? would be fine, right? I, I am not upset about the invitations. I, it doesn't matter. That is, that is nothing. Yeah, I know. I mean... I, I understand that you're probably more mad about the fact that I stole, stole your wife. You can't steal a person. They go where they want to go and they're free to do that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's true. I guess that. that and I'm true. not going to stand in the way of someone else's happiness. So if they want to be wherever, like it's not, that's not what this is about. Okay. Are you, are you mad about your, your, the engagement thing? Cause that, uh, that Swiss Alps thing was kind of expensive. What? I can, I, I don't make a lot of money from camp counseling, but I could set up some kind of layaway thing. It's not about the money. It's never been about the money. If I cared about money, I wouldn't have dated someone who doesn't make any. She what? Oh, you didn't know. Uh, I mean, you're about to make vows for the rest of your life, so you really should know who you're about to marry. Okay. The, the word heiress was used. 
at the bachelorette party. Oh, she's definitely inheriting something, but it's not money. It's debt, lots and lots of debt. Oh, and so a house that's condemned that no one can live in. But none of that mattered to me because I loved her. And if you're not gonna love her as much as I did, even though she's not worth a penny, then I don't know what you're even doing here. I have to make a phone call. Yeah, I bet you do. Taking this coffee to go. Oh my. <laughs> We've learned so much about this <laughs> wedding, uh, where it sounds like Linda and Regina decided to save. Uh, they got the same invitations, probably the. They just location. used some really cheap off-brand whiteout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cream. It's not even the right like color oh as the rest of the. Um, right. oh, oh my right. gosh! So everything is actually. Wow. Wow. Okay. This is And because the deposit was already paid by the only person in the equation who had money. <laughs> they're, they're, that's why they're like, well, we have the venue, but we need to cheap out on the food. So it's cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, I love this. This is great. Okay. So for Jay, good effing grief. Um, sorry. <laughs> oh, ooh, we also only get one F word I mentioned each. Which oh, I didn't really... did, I, did I curse? I'm sorry. No, no, no one has. I just realized I hadn't said that in the, the uh, in the pre-game, but, uh, you know, we did PG-13, but anyway, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so if you want to save, or also you don't need to, but, um, okay, so how do we, dang, uh, so Jay established that scene for their character, for, for her character. What, how did her Swiss think that went for, uh, for Rebecca? A positive or negative? <laughs> I feel like it was positive. Of, yeah. She came out of that very sounding very classy, mm -hmm. like conserving her dignity, even though she's obviously trying to hide, you know, the deep wellspring of pain. <laughs> yeah. And is totally understanding that love can be fickle and does not it like oh that line about like people go where they want. It was very good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Very like you were that person everyone's rooting for, and they're like, I hope they do a follow up on this movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a manga. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So good. All right. So we got one more scene. And uh, so this one, um, Regina will be the star of. So, uh, Ray, would you like us to uh, establish the scene for you, or would you like to establish the scene for your character? Yeah. I would love for y'all to establish the scene. I'll have a, um, and I get to choose an outcome, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a cat. Everyone, there's a cat. Oh, which cat? My cat. Oh. This is Chassie. Chassie. Oh. Yeah, his name's Chassie because he used to hide under cars before he was rescued. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, no. wow. oh. <laughs> so. Chassie is the ring bearer. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, which, yeah. which explains. What, okay, guys. Okay. Oh, um, how about Regina? You oh, oh, and. Cat. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, look at that cat. Two cats. Did I did I mention I live in an apartment that doesn't allow pets? <laughs> well, nobody we're not tell anybody. Yeah, we didn't hear doesn't anything. Doesn't allow pets. <laughs> no one has any pets in the here. Apartment. Yeah, that's just AI, or I'm sorry, that's just a uh, AR. It's right? a hologram. A reality, yeah, a hundred percent. All right. Um, <laughs> actually, speaking of, so Ray, why don't you, your character and mine, why don't you give me, or you, uh, we establish a scene where you're giving me your ring, and then I'm in charge of chassis. Oh, I like I love that. I'm like uh cuz I uh am a animal trainer in Hollywood. Is what I told you. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, perfect. All right. So uh so we're probably probably um I don't know if we're in a hotel uh situation or if this is your home. Uh we didn't say yeah, we can establish where it is too, but um yeah, so you're in like your your bridal uh room where you know hang out for your right, paper right. or whatever yeah yeah mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. and so I, I i like knock on the knock on the door after i've delivered the food okay um <laughs> uh Re um, Regi regina it's january uh you you rang oh right right and i rush over like i'm half dressed right and then like um there's supposed to be people here helping me but like two of them like uh for for one reason or another passed out on the bed and uh i come over open the door like artfully disheveled right the hair like off to one side makeup on one half right <laughs> still work i've been redrawing the line of the other eye over and over again because i can't quite get it because the makeup artist didn't show up mm, so. no. um 
uh, January's like, oh, oh, goodness, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, I can look at you. Um, uh, sorry, is there, am I, is this a bad time? Uh, no, no. Uh, January, right, right. Um, so I have for you, and then you can hear meow from the from the other side. Um, so here is um. Oh, I don't, I don't. Where, where is the? And then I see like a, uh, like an extra, like paper bag from you from from White Castle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, sorry, Cassandra is like shaking her foot. Uh, so. <laughs> And I take the ring and I stuff it into like the paper bag and I say here and um chassis um grabbing uh chassis come here and then like you see like this this dangly wangly mm -hmm. cat walk over with this like erect tail and like has a has a really cute like collar bow tie on mm -hmm. right and this little wedding dress oh my god I'm losing it anyway <laughs> there's a little bow tie on the tail I just have to put it there okay <laughs> so this is chassis uh he responds fairly well to to command so you should fairly well. you know yeah, absolutely considered, right you're the professional here i won't tell you how to do your job oh no yeah uh yeah of course of course of course january pulls out uh what appears to just be a ballpoint pen it's sort of like mm -hmm. yes and then uh uh january's uh nose is also starting to look red and her eyes are getting very wet. She's like, great, great, you, me, <laughs> Chassie, yes, all right. Um, so Chassie's gonna be the um, uh, ring bearer. Is that, what's, uh, is that what's happening here? Right, 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 just like we talked about. Oh, right, right. Yes, like, uh, yes. I emailed, I know I sent 12 emails. I just got a little excited. Um, yes. I can resend them, uh, no, no problem. No, the, okay. you know what, the, the Venmo went through and that's all that, that's all that matters. Uh, to uh <laughs> well, the venmo went through that's great that i wasn't yeah. sure i mean yes the venmo went through as planned uh because mm -hmm. money is is okay money is mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. um and then so i i i i get chassis to go into the carrier and mm -hmm. like but it's like um it's yeah so i pick up the carrier and i hand it to you and, and i say thank you thank you so much you know like we just chassis was instrumental in helping linda and i get together and this is going to be part of our perfect day to it's going to be absolutely wonderful thank you thank you so much for your help you're a bit you look a little emotional are, are, you, are oh, you are you are you crying already like because I, I said i wouldn't cry and and you know and um but maybe it's good if i get the no but the makeup no i'm not crying maybe i can cry on one side maybe i oh, can like, get it you know so. uh actually i think i have the thing for you because it seems like you're just missing a little bit of rouge and uh january opens the bag back up and like pulls out a ketchup packet like tears a little bit of it and just like dabs a little. Can I can I say when you when you tear there's like a close up onto your mouth when you do oh, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's a very right? like, and, perfect lip lip line and everything. Yeah. Right, and Regina yeah. goes gulp. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, January's leaning in close. Um, obviously because this lavender suit, it's like the shirt underneath is open way too far. You know, nothing. You know, nothing holding up these bad boys. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, just sort of dabbing your cheeks, just a little bit of ketchup, so just like a little, uh, little sweet for the sweet. Oh, I, 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 I love ketchup so much. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a good yeah. look on you. So. Oh, I, 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 oh, um, yeah, I, um, I look good in, in, in um, mustard too. If you oh. want to see that sometime, oh. you know. Absolutely, yeah. But, yeah. Um, I mean, actually, uh, nobody looks good in mayonnaise. So, uh, but oh. That's true. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, chassis, chassis. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, January comes back to herself like, uh, yes, absolutely. All right. Um, I will leave you to it. Um, right. Right. Because everything is going perfectly well. Yes. Um, right. Thank, thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then there's a moment where like Regina bursts into a little too much emotion and throws her arms around you and like holds you really tight and is like, I thank you, and it lets you go. Uh, January is like you know patting Regina's back, and then uh, puts a hand on the door, and has uh, uh, somewhat unceremoniously uh, slung the cat strap, ba cat bag strap over her shoulder, uh, and uh, has a hand on the door, and just looks back over her shoulder and says, "Regina, I know uh, a lot's happened in the past um, well week." since you were going to be marrying Rebecca. Uh, but uh, 
who knows what next week could look like? And then just shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment where Regina like stops and looks at the door. And uh, that was last week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, does that feel like a good place to end the scene? Uh, yeah, or sorry, I'm I'm on. I'm always. This game is a GMless game, but because it's a two-hour time block, I'm always like, if there's a good line or a good emotional moment, I'm like, that's the end of the scene. So oh, you all, perfect, all, perfect. All of you also feel free to also end the scenes or say like, that's it. So we also, what's going to happen next week? Next week is going to be another condiment-covered catastrophe. If anything <laughs> that we've seen tonight <laughs> is to go by. <laughs> That yes. is the perfect twin Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> if there are no characters, I would use them. Oh my gosh, I'm sure Wendy's already has it because they're trying to be cool. So, oh. um, <laughs> okay, so how do we think that scene went for Regina? Well, positive or negative? Um, well, she's more in love than she's ever been. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's true. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, possibly with everyone. Um, uh, so, do we think that's a, a positive for Regina or a negative because of the big sh to do that's happening today and possible emotional turmoil? Maybe y'all can get together over a bottle of Benadryl because <laughs> with the allergic reaction. <laughs> If this, uh, if this wedding, if this wedding ends up taking place in the hospital with the two of you being treated for anaphylactic shock, I think that would be perfect. I, they're gonna call the priest. Between the lobster like, and the cat. Are they dying? Oh Is gosh, yeah, you're right. The lobster too. Oh no. Um, I'm trying to. I cannot decide. This is well. <laughs> no, I think it's positive. I think it's positive. I think, I think, positive. I think so. True love. Yeah. I think she's discovered true love. Uh, or you know, true, true for tonight. You know how it goes. Uh, all right. It, oh, yeah. it, was, look, it was true the, in the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the depth of an emotion is not correlated to its authenticity. That's all I'm saying. What do the oh. vows that you're supposed to be taking correlate to? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't years. been said yet. They haven't been said yet. Where, where, where does commitment come into play here? What part of the equation <laughs> yeah, is yeah. Any, any kind of solid agreement meant to be whole? Like, when does the relationship truly begin? Yeah. Uh, by the way, <laughs> if I ever get married, you all are definitely invited because this is amazing. Um, okay. Uh, oh. So, <laughs> all right, so we have done one full round of scenes. Um, so we get another one. So um, we, we're gonna do another round before we get the tilt, which is our little like, uh, it's Ooh. more chaos, if you will. Um, it feels like for these people's lives, the tilt started last week, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay, I feel like you are describing the scene that should happen next and it's Jay and Regina. <sighs> and what happened maybe between them. I don't want to tell you that I want to establish the scene for you all or that we want to, but like, I feel like that's something that the audience would like to, right chat, would like to see. <laughs> okay, Regina, what uh, time, What? What? when is this scene happening? Like what, what era in these lives do we want to focus on for the story we're telling? Ooh, that is why I'm when, like, when yeah. we were together, when we fell in love, is that, is that- Or do, um... you, want, or do you want to do like, you know, I mean, I. I always say the most interesting part of a story is when things start to fall apart. <gasps> oh no. I mean, yeah. but it's true though. <laughs> it's true. Oh my gosh. So how about when we were like picking out the invitations, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because that was the time so this, when so Rebecca thought everything was fine, party, but it may way. not have been. This is the day they, after we, the bachelorette party. Right. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I missed what Calvin said. Oh, the day, it, it happens the day after the bachelor party. Is, is that is that what you said, yes. Calvin? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the so... invitations. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. But still, as, as far as Rebecca knows, everything is fine. Right. Right. Okay. Right, right, right. I feel like up to this moment, Regina also thought everything was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those moments where suddenly All it's right. not. 
All right, so you're doing the invitation. Are you all at a, uh, I don't know, like a print shop or um, are you just oh, going through loose paper at if, your if, home? If, if this is the, Rebecca, Miss, I'm going to manage everything myself. There's no way they'd be at a, a, a print shop. It would be like a setting that you could control. There's nobody else around. Like you're just, we're handling different card stocks. I'm getting really obsessed. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, we're someone looking at like twenty different fonts. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, I know, who, I know, I know who I'm playing in this one. I'm playing. Oh, the, I, uh, I bet you do. Yeah, no, no. I'm playing the person who's who's uh, the person that you've hired to come to your penthouse apartment and hand you all the card stocks in the little briefcase. Exactly. That's right. Yes, exactly. the briefcase. You're the paper um, baron, and and I <laughs> and I will be the calligrapher that's just showing you different R's because you're both you both your names start with an R. So mm -hmm. I'm on like a. I brought in an easel set up and I've got a brush, so I'm just going. I'm like, we're combining our houses, making a new crest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> right? Okay, okay. So we yeah. were thinking for the coat of arms, since your names both start with R, point over to the calligrapher. Yeah. We were thinking rhinoceroses, rampant, two of what? them, one for you, one for you. I think a bit more subtlety might be uh, what we're looking for here. Ah. I, I think I want to pick the font first, and then the animal will come to me from the lines of the letters because it'll it'll bring a shape to it. I see. Do you see okay. what so, I mean? So we have Garamond Italic Narrow. Oh, it's a good Garamond one. Garamond Italic Narrow Pro. It, it's, it costs Garamond more money. Italic That's it. Money is not a problem here. Garamond mm -hmm. italic underlined bold. Ooh. And this this one I particularly recommend because it looks amazing on 600 GSM, which is what we recommend you will be printing your um, your invitations on. Okay. 650, in fact, 650 GSM with, uh, with ivory core right through the middle. Very classy, very beautiful. Um, Princess Diana used these at her wedding. Yes. And <clears throat> nice Diana. try. I, I, I loved Princess Diana and they didn't let her pick any of the details because those people micromanaged everything. So we're going to go with, uh, I, I thank you so much, but we're going to, we're going to look at a few more options, but I'm not going to, you're not going to upsell me on something that didn't happen. Op options? I'm 100% giving you options. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and are we debossing or embossing here? That is the other thing, because if you want class up to the ass, that's our logo um, or our slogan. Nice. Uh, you've got to <laughs> punch in or punch out. That's all I'm saying. Oh, absolutely. You want to have the really nice texture. You want people to be able to feel the richness mm -hmm. of this and know that they are going to have a wonderful time celebrating our nuptials. Isn't that right, honey? If, if you're going with debossing, I recommend the cream. If you're going with embossing, I recommend the ivory. I I don't know if this is going to work. I I the, paper, the font or I the the the, the, the I, we also I, have eggshell. I, I I feel like I've been walking on eggshells around this the whole time. Do you, and do you want a smaller wedding? We can do only a thousand. I've, I've been trying like to say this a thousand times, and oh. I, I I didn't realize until. Oh, is it moment. is it the is it the the color of ink? Because I've got so many, you know. I just went with this sort of like uh, dried menses red because it felt very visceral. You know, and, you know, intimate like a, ceremony. We can we can go as low as seven hundred people. I think it, 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 visceral red seven hundred. I I don't know if I I don't know if I still love you, Rebecca. <gasps> Please leave us. Oh, I'll leave the samples. <laughs> yeah. And my card. Oh, and here's mine. <laughs> we have two. It's the same company, same number, but just our names. Get out <laughs> of my apartment. What do you what do you mean? I I want to. I I I want to love you. I you're such a Rebecca, you're such a good person, and I'm I'm not who you think I am. What are you talking about? I I may have I it's 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 there's just so much I don't want to drag you down with me. Okay, I don't know what you mean by drag you down with me, but we can get a prenup. That's not a that's not a problem. What are you talking about? 
I, there are, there are people after me and I owe them a lot of money. I know about the Herbalife debt, it's fine. They're not really gonna sue you, okay? It's, it, it's just another I, one of those pyramid schemes. No, is no. It the, is the, it the Cutco knives this time? No, you no. stop investing with these people, but honey, what is it? No, the family took care of the Herbalife people. Okay. And the family right. took care of the other ones, but the okay. family is coming and I, I have to protect you from them. And the family, please speak plainly. What are you talking about? I, I may have hired a fake set of parents for you to meet because okay. I didn't want you to. I may be part of a crime syndicate. Oh, I am. I, I, I love you too, but we, I am not going to jail. What, what kind of crime syndicate? I, no, I've, I've, I've already said too much anymore. And <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Will you at least tell me what country this has all been happening in? Because I did a thorough background check and I didn't find any of this. Of course it's, and then like, um, there's this like, Regina like says the name of a country that doesn't exist. <laughs> doesn't exist IRL, it doesn't exist like to like, because I know you don't want to like name a country and be like politically incorrect or something, but like- Right, 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 okay. right. like IRL, like it's a- Oh, okay, a okay. So what you're saying is Interpol is useless and I can stop paying them off, okay. Oh my God, I can't believe this. All right, so you don't want to marry me, not because you don't love me, not because the wedding was too much, not, but because you think that I won't be safe anymore. You don't think they would already kill your fiance? It's well, just an excuse because you're you're scared to be with me. I no, I mean, I, I, I just, I just need to be sure. I just, this need is to be sure of what? If you're not sure of me, I don't know how much more I can do to convince you. I, 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 I have to do what I can to protect you. You are not just, you're talking around the real question that I have for you. And I don't understand why you can't just talk straight to me right now. Like I know we're gay, but just like, you know what I mean? Just, just tell me, just use your words. Is it really that you're scared that us being together finally, like legally, everything irrevocably is dangerous? Or is it because you don't think you can trust me that you don't think that we can actually do this? I, and like Regina like leans over and like reaches out to touch your face and, and says, just please just be happy. That's all I. How am I supposed to be happy when you're telling me you don't want to be with me anymore? And like, there's a, there's a moment where like Regina reaches out to like hold on to you. I'm so sorry. I was so selfish and I chose you over your own happiness. It won't happen again. What? Uh, that, that seems like a good place to end sort of is like this broke, <laughs> I mean, not a good broken hearted Rebecca, but yeah. Oh, Regina walking out the door. Yeah. <laughs> and then when she finds out you're marrying someone else, <laughs> um wow okay so <laughs> thank you jess our producer <laughs> that was beautiful um <laughs> uh wow okay so that was uh rebecca's scene and i feel like we all know how that went for rebecca <laughs> i feel like when you're going in it was going to be for Rebecca, but, it was terrible. For Jay and Ray, oh my God, I was going to cry. That was so <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> some, uh, yeah. Oof, my goodness. Also, that was negative for Rebecca. <laughs> or you mean terrible as in, like, unfortunate? Uh, <laughs> yes, that you got your heart broken and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, sorry, yes. We don't know in the long run if this was actually a positive or negative, but we know it's currently it was a negative for you. Yeah. The twists and turns. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we... Boop. <laughs> oh, did I just, what happened? It got quiet. 
Oh, I think on our microphone so. board and then uh, stop oh. the show. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So that is now uh, we've had two scenes for Rebecca. Okay. Would Regina uh, or Linda like to go next? Have a scene with you all. She's figuring out how to love again. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we could do we one. Have... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was going to say uh, January and Linda could do one together where they're setting up the food uh, back at the Ooh. wedding in real time. Yeah, I was going to suggest oh, this seeing. This is after the ring bearer scene, up there, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Shall we do that? I like that. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Um, and so are you wearing your dress too? Or do you have like yes. an apron over yeah, yeah, yeah. it? No, 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 no. I, I'm wearing my dress, but with like a little, a little, a little vest over the top of it to indicate that I'm catering. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah. Um, so we've got the, the, um, I guess the, uh, like silver platters out in front of us and we're like de-bagging, if that's a word, yeah. uh, these yeah. little sliders and, yeah. um, January is watching Linda and is trying to go just slightly faster and it's like... <laughs> So, um, uh, how are you feeling? Hmm? Isn't Regina just so beautiful? Oh. Doesn't she just make your heart sing? Don't, yeah. Isn't it when you just look at her and you just feel like, like you wanna, you wanna just get down on one knee and propose? Because that's exactly how I felt. I don't understand how anybody else feels the same. Doesn't exactly feel the same way. Uh, <laughs> you hear the crumpling of a paper bag from somewhere, but can't see it. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're a very, very lucky Linda, as I would say. Um, uh, speaking of, well, we know that uh, Regina's allergic to shellfish. Are you allergic to anything? Just uh, want to make sure that you don't accidentally, you know, come across anything. And... Um, children, actually, which is difficult because I'm a, I'm a camp counselor. They the <laughs> say, the say cooties aren't real, but every time I come into contact with like a teenager, are they called teenagers? I just go just poof out like a puffball, fly away. All right. No, uh, I mean, uh, I I think there's only two kids coming, but we can make sure that they get the cheap seats in the back, you know, like that they can't uh, yeah. see you, you can't see them. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. Why yeah. do you ask? Oh, I just, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that this goes well for, uh, for, Regi or for both of you. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I mean, yes, yeah, so that's exactly what I'm saying. Um, you know, Regina just makes makes you want to do everything for them, don't, don't you think? Like, didn't you, didn't you, aren't you guys old friends? Haven't you, you know, been been like, see, you know, known each other for the past twenty seven years? Um, don't, you, don't you think she's just the best, the greatest person who's ever lived? The no. most beautiful, the most generous, the kindest, the the, the sexiest, <laughs> you know. Haven't you ever wanted to, to wonder what it's like to have her arms wrapped around you? And of just... course I have, Linda! <laughs> yeah, no, I that's mean... fine. I totally understand. I love her. I love her so much. It's the best. She's the best. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Wait, I am... love her, my fiance. No, no, it's these slider fumes. I just got to me for a second. I got to take back to my Frederick days. Um... Okay, no, listen, listen. As somebody who's in love with my fiance, I can tell that someone's in love with my fiance. Of course, yes, of course, because we've been friends for so long. And you love her like a not a friend. Sister. <laughs> yes, yes. Like a not a not friend. That's a you know, I don't know if that's not a thing, Linda. Okay. January. Also, your your burgers look like shit, so fix them. <laughs> I, I, it's going to go well. You, you two are going to live a happy life together. You know, um, how long have you known each other, by the way? Um, what day is it? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's so loud, sorry. Uh, it's Saturday. Oh, um, three and a half days, three and a half days, yeah, three and a half. Three and a half um, days. Yeah, three and a half days, and we're getting so, married. It's it's unbelievable. I know, but I tell you, she just has this quality about her, and she's just the best. And I love her so much. And so you we, know what, January, you're not bad looking yourself. You know. Oh. I'm, and uh, I love that. I love that suit. 
the the little ketchup makeup you've got going on it's wonderful oh, love yeah. the hair mm. always love girls with a bob um do you wanna i mean the wedding is technically for the two of us but i mean it's the 21st century and regina speaks so highly of you and she she doesn't know she doesn't know i know this but um she's got those poems on her phone um don't tell her don't tell her i know that don't tell her i know that um, the, the poem who are the poems about linda <laughs> you mean you don't know no of course i don't just like stopped doing <laughs> just stopped doing food prep all together <laughs> they're um they're about you january and they're fairly um erotic if you don't mind me saying the really? uh yeah lots of talk about mustard for some reason but it's just listen i i kind of broke up rebecca and regina a little bit maybe by saying i was in love with regina even though we had just met checks watch two hours before the bachelorette party i was catering it so <laughs> but but you know and so I can't, don't exactly have like a, a leg to stand on when I'm saying that, you know, like weddings are just for two people that like, no. love each other forever. Sometimes three people can love each other forever. No, you know? yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I do have a question though. Yeah, what's up? About Rebecca and all this. Uh -huh. you... I'm eating a slider, by the way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good. good. <laughs> you're, and then uh, Regina just goes, You're only allowed three of the product, just so you know. Those were your words, <laughs> not mine. Um, <laughs> Uh, did, did Regina dump Rebecca because Rebecca just never said, I love you? Is that all that Regina wanted from someone that anyone could have just said? <laughs> no reason, no reason. Have you told her you love her? Uh, yeah, I have, but, like, but like, I love yeah, like not you, you know, like, yeah, YA, so. Oh, I see. It's, it's so flirtier you're not, you're and lighter and yeah. You're not. El and less less emotionally vulnerable, but you're you haven't graduated quite to you know like, I love you. Yeah, no, I never food. do that. I mean, yeah. I'm I mean, not a, you... I'm not a teddy bear that someone is giving that they bought a discount before a birthday or something. So, I mean, you know what? You know who we should ask? We should ask Regina. Honey. Great, great place to end that scene. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Why love triangle when you can love in a triangle? <laughs> this is a love quadrilateral at this point. I'm gonna need a refill yeah. on this for 10 wine. Yeah, we got I love rumber. <laughs> we gotta figure out where's that caterer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for 10 wine, yeah, yeah. Just a couple squirts of col uh liquid coloring uh what is it called? Dye? Yes, thank you. It's Sorry. Grand Manager. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Also good. Also good. Do what you want to. All right. So what dang. day is it is one of the best things I've ever come up with. That was man. All right. So how do we think? I feel like we could do a twofer in that scene because it was both sort of an equal. How do we think that scene went for also because of time? <laughs> how do we think that scene went for Linda and for January? I think it was positive in both directions, I feel. What about the people that weren't in it? <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't control the narrative twice, Calvin. Um, <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry, I sorry, sorry. I forgot, forgot the rules of the game. I'm teasing. No worries. Yeah, worries. Jason Morningstar is in chat. He's just like checking. He's like, nope. <laughs> no, he's having a good time. Um, oh my gosh. Um, um, I, yeah, what do you what do you think, Jay? I don't even know. That was okay. Wild. Yes, I, a I, I, I'm so confused about what Linda's motivations are at this point. <laughs> Besides chaos, <laughs> true, true. I feel like it was definitely positive for for Linda because it feels like mm -hmm. right that she got 
at least something towards what she wanted, but I'm not sure if it was positive for uh for January. Yeah, right? yeah. Like being dragged into into this Yeah. Poor January. That's fair. No. Cause yeah, because we don't know we don't know if January is into uh sharing Regina. Um yeah. which they it. she very well could be, but we don't know yet. So um okay. Cool. Kevin, I hope it's okay that I sort of combined our scenes or whatever um um for time. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's no yeah these games these games usually go on for three hours and home games or sometimes four so uh trying to we'll probably only do one more set of uh uh scenes after the tilt factor and then we'll do like a big the fact that the, the tilt has not happened yet and it's this thing is already <laughs> yeah. <wild. laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah so uh so we have one more regina scene um yeah because we had the rebecca scene uh with uh that was that flashback so Right. Yeah. Would, you, would you like to establish or would you like um to uh choose positive or negative uh yeah i can make it as i can establish it i have a really quick scene in mind yeah. right i think i think it's actually regina uh by herself i think it's a family calling right and so i think it's like shortly after like we hear like regina honey right as linda's calling right and then at that moment that's when like we hear a phone ringing and Regina goes like, no, but that's the, that's the burner phone. Right. And then through, through the many layers, like picks up one phone, a second phone, a third phone, finally gets to the seventh. Right. And then. <laughs> okay. Is this when you're still living with Rebecca and everything's fine? Is this a flashback or is this currently happening? Oh yeah. 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 Let's speak in a bit. I think, I think it makes more sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's funny if you're like trying to hide how many phones you have from someone who you live with and Rebecca has <laughs> no idea how many phones you have. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll change it around. And so like I'm opening drawers. There's like one phone in the closet and then one of the vase, right. In different places hiding vase, in a light I'm fixture. I'm going to water your phone by accident. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, finally get to one. And then like, we just hear like, rah, 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 rah. we don't hear what's happening on the other side. And Regina um, says, no, daddy, everything is under control. I, no, you don't have to put mommy on the phone. No, I, I, yes, yes, of course. No, everything is going according to plan. Everything is absolutely perfect. No, I've, I've, and uh, there's a moment where, Regina stops and says, no, you're wrong about Rebecca. I, no, you don't have to worry about her anymore. Honey, are you and on the phone? Oh, um, I'll, I'll be right there. Um, oh, no worries. I'm, just, I'm, I'm working. I just wanted, to, I just thought I heard something. No, no, it's, it's, and then like, uh, Regina looks down at the phone, like the call has been has been ended, but there's a there's a text message of like, no one ever leaves the family. But yeah. All right. Um, well, how ominous. <laughs> how absolutely terrifying. To everyone either getting married, having going to have been married, or is in love with Regina. Uh, oh. <laughs> Regina, a puppet master? This is uh, okay. So, um, <laughs> I also have no idea. Right? Yeah. All right. So now we're going to do that little bit of math part. And if uh, anyone in chat needs to use the restroom, you want to take your phone, iPad, or whatever in with you, you know. God bless. Thanks for keeping things clean. But uh, we will be doing some math. So yeah, this is probably a good moment. Um, but for everyone else, so if you right click on the cards next to your name, the negative positive cards, um, and then you can flip your card so you can see what's on the other side. How do I flip them? Oh, I see. I got it. Yeah. Uh, do a little right click. Zoom in. Oh, you can also drag and drop to make the cards larger. So, or sorry, drag the corner. There you go, Jane. Merci. Yes. <laughs> or Australian, right? <laughs> hmm. What does this mean? Okay. 
So uh, oh no, I'm looking at everyone else's cards. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. These are the possible tilts. So the way that this math works is if you have two cards that are the same color, such as Ray and I, what we do is we add them together. So my score is a plus or a red six, whereas Ray, yours is a blue four. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was oh, no, I, okay. <laughs> sorry, I was like <laughs> math, math. No, 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 sorry. Yeah, I said I would do the math for you. My apologies. Um, yes. Okay. So so now Calvin and Jay, um, for yours, what we do is we take the larger number and we subtract it from uh, we subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Right. Um, and then whatever's left over as the positive, it's that color. So I got plus two. Yeah, you got plus two, you got a red two. Does Calvin have zero? zero? Calvin has a zero. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cackle like that, Calvin. Um, and also, since I am uh, the host of the show, I'm going to give them my. So basically, who would go is whoever has the highest number in the blue and the red. We get to pick whatever tilt card we want in that color. Wow. So, Ray, you get to pick whatever blue card on the board you see. So there's four. Uh, you have two. Calvin's got one and Jay's got one. And we will add that to the pot of stuff in our game. Um, I play this all the time, so I'm not going to go. Uh, Jay, you had the next highest red color Ooh. or number, so if you want to go and pick whichever red card you want, and then we'll add it to the middle. Okay, I'm going to pick a red card. Ah, oh, they're all so good. Wait, I know, right? Let's see. <laughs> well, let's see. Wait. And by good, I mean. Oh, horrible. mayhem. An animal gets loose. <laughs> Kitty. <Good eat. laughs> it's oh, a dangerous no. animal, so like a, like, oh, a, a, a puma escapes from the jail or something. The jail. I meant to say the zoo. The jail. That is what a zoo is, though, isn't it? To the puma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And I will say, uh, but just for everyone's like who's wondering, uh, Chassie will be a okay in this. Uh, we would yes. never hurt a cat or dog. Or anything. <laughs> I know. I just I, I realized when we were like, I was like, oh, I hope no one's worrying about that right now. Oh, the big cats love little cats. Aww. They give them pets for anxiety. So like, I've seen it's so right. many big cats like cuddle the small cats. It's adorable. Yeah. All right, Ray, which uh, blue do you want to use? Ah, uh, I feel like it has to be a sudden reversal of status, fortune, or sympathy. Okay, the paranoia one? Interesting. Yeah. All right. Okay, so these cards, and we'll keep the rest over. And I am just writing down what everyone had really fast. Uh, because it will matter at the end <laughs> with this color math. Again, it is very easy math. Oh, sorry. Yes, do you have a question? No, I hiccup. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just heard a voice. I was like, yes, I'm here to help. Okay. Uh, I had a red. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we will each do another round of scenes. And then we will do uh, probably like a big one all together. And then we'll do the math one more time. And that's when we pull our aftermath cards, these little the black cards down at the bottom. Uh, people in chat, you might not be able to see it, but we'll pull them out. And that's and it will describe our, our denouement or sort of like the scene after the credits, or it's like, where are they now? You know. Um, and again, the game's called Fiasco, not happy fun times. So uh, yeah. If they that's, couldn't tell from what's been happening for an hour, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. one minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so who would like to go first? Um, or you could also just accuse someone or not accuse, but, you know, pick someone and be like, you're going, you know, uh, whatever. If you have a scene you'd like to establish, we could also move forward in time, move back in time like we've done before. Uh, uh, it could be a scene um, with someone as a child, whatever it is um, that you want. And if you don't have one, that is fine. I can. Uh, I've got one, too. I mean, if you have one, unless yeah. someone else, you know, I'm, I'm currently drawing a blank. But yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so this will happen after the little scene or, uh, sorry, uh, not little scene. Sorry. After the scene with Calvin or uh, January and Linda, um, Linda just screamed or yelled politely for uh, uh, Regina and January um, hears a meow and then realizes that she needs to go. She's been so caught up in all of this that she has forgotten to check on Chassie. So um, uh, and maybe if someone wants to play Chassie in this scene, that would be great. 
Um, <laughs> okay, Calvin, great. Great. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, January runs over to where the, the bag was. She just sort of put it down, like, under a table so, like, chassis wouldn't, like, get hot outside. This is outside wedding, right? Yeah. It's classy, yeah. Um, are we at a vineyard? Are we at a hotel? Are we at a casino? Are we at a mini golf? Where do you, where do you Rebecca think would totally have, like, rented out Martha's Vineyard for this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is fancy. It's okay. Fancy. Oh my gosh. Is that a real place? I have to look this up. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it is. I've heard about it. I didn't. Oh, I didn't it's know it was beautiful. real. <laughs> it is. I'm looking at the. What? You really do love me. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I also <laughs> don't know what this looks like. So now I'm going to. Everyone do a search on whatever your favorite browser is. <laughs> I'm going to drive up the prices. Okay. All right. So it's on the coast of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. Ferry port. Oh, <laughs> okay. So there's a ferry. It's an island. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, the uh, cat carrier is open, and there is a discreet, but still easy to find set of footprints leading to the rocks on the shore of Martha's Vineyard Island. Oh, no. And uh, January is like like uh, picked up a bag of uh, uh, like uh, there's probably cat treats. Or like White castle burgers. Castle, yes, uh, yes. They have a new, they have a new, um, a new uh, 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 menu item called uh, like shrimp nubbins. You know, it's like <laughs> popcorn chicken, but with shrimp, so smaller <laughs> shrimp. And she's like, oh, um, Jassy, Jassy, Jassy. And then off in the distance, unhelpfully. Oh, sorry, it's Calvin doing it. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, 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 right, no, right. The cat yeah, can't yeah. talk. Right, I think like we we cut to like seeing that because Chassis has this like vibrating tail situation. <laughs> oh, so, so Chassis can hear. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then Calvin, you get to choose if Chassis speaks. Okay, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And James is like, uh, Chassis, Chassis, please. It's um, it's it's for Regina. <laughs> Does lo logic using her ballpoint pen that she's pretending is like a fancy clicker. Um, <laughs> come, come to me, eh? The cat, the, cat, the cat looks at January, looks at the shrimp nubbin, looks over at the real shrimp that it's caught on the beach, <laughs> and begins to devour the shrimp. All right, yeah, uh, January is just like, oh my God, you come here, you little, I am. <sighs> Regina is gonna kill me if I cannot find you. And I don't need another reason for Linda to love or hate, or I don't know, eviscerate me. Come here, come here. Um, and um, I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, she, uh, well, well, uh, clicking out um, the uh, the bag that she's shaking, uh, <laughs> someone that actually has the, the, the wedding ring in it and it sort of uh, <laughs> uh, falls out into the, the tide pools that she's walking across. <laughs> And that's where I feel like the scene should end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah. Uh, right. So, um, yeah. oh my oh. gosh. And then uh, peek over with a little crab coming up, <laughs> grabbing, <laughs> grabbing the bag and pulling it under. Oh my gosh. A little crabbleism, cra cannibalism with crabs. I can't say it. All right. Sorry. It's a terrible portmanteau. Portman trash is what that was. Okay. Oh, that was um, good. <laughs> If that's right. not TV tropes pays, it needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> How do we think that went for old uh, January? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it was classic January. That was great. <laughs> Definitely didn't go well. All right. All right. You know, hey, so it goes. <laughs> yeah, lost the ring. Can't find the cat. Yeah. Is having a maybe, maybe a, a sexual breakthrough all on the rocks. And as you said, Ray, you, Ray also mentioned privately. Do you want to say what you said about the the coastal town? Oh no! And I and I said uh, I just realized being allergic to shellfish while at a coastal town is like incredibly hilarious. And by hilarious, I mean dangerous. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, there's a lot of people that live on. But yeah, it's like, oh man. Yeah. Uh, okay, who would like to go next? Um, 
I feel like we haven't heard from Rebecca for a while. I know. She's been going through a lot. Oh, yeah. dear. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to do a, we'll do a tiny, uh, for everyone at home, we'll do stars and wishes afterwards just to make sure all the care, all the players are good <laughs> with all the emotions. It's been a very high emotion. Show, oh, yeah. So. We have had some, some RPG after here. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin might just need sleep, but yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's do the scene where poor Rebecca finds out that uh, apparently the wedding is still on with a different bride. <laughs> <laughs> All okay, right. So, so she's gonna be on the phone with her bestie, and just you know, they're they're doing the whole talk. Yeah, I'm over it. It's fine. It's fine. And then she goes on Facebook and then sees someone else posting about it, and it everything like hits the fan. So, who wants to be the bestie on the phone? Oh my gosh, I can, I can be, yes, 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 I'll be the bestie. Okay. Uh, so I, I still don't know what happened, but at the end of the day, if she doesn't want to be with me, I, I feel like it doesn't even matter what her reasoning is. It's not, it's not emotionally healthy for me to get hung up on the whys and just not listen to what she's really saying to me, you know, like she's saying that she's not ready and I, I can't wait around my whole life for for someone who doesn't even think about how I feel. Like I'm sorry. I know I've been crying about this for like like no. a week. No, no, you are you are so good. You are so right. You know, we have to, you know, it's time. I think it's time to let go. I just I keep thinking, what did I do wrong? Like maybe I didn't listen enough. Like no, I just, no, no, no. You can't ask yourself that, darling. You did everything you could. I, I just have to I just have to accept that and and just try to move on. I, I know everyone wants to, to I know everyone wants me to go hang out. I'm I'm getting invites to like all these different events and like I just wanna spend the weekend alone because I can't get back any of the money that I put down for this deposit. And people are like, oh, just throw a party instead. And I'm like, yeah, I feel like going to a party in the place where I was supposed to marry her is going to feel like celebrating in my own great, what is this? Oh, oh, and I think like the friend was trying to tell you, don't go online, don't check <laughs> invitations. <laughs> no, I mean, um, Who the you know, hell is Linda? No, I, oh, oh, you know, that's probably a mistake. You just need to get off the internet right now this and not, a not come back for two months. She told me that she couldn't get married because she didn't want to risk my life. But apparently it's fine if the family ties live out of the stake. What? Who the hell? I feel like my head is on fire. <laughs> I... I, I'm gonna come over right now. Um, I'll be I there. I may in a few not minutes. be here. I, I, I may be at the store buying an axe. I. No, no, I shouldn't drive like this. Oh. <laughs> no, honey, I'll come over with the axe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like that kind, I'm that kind of friend. <laughs> Bring the axe and a bag of lime. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I it's one thing to be over the person who you thought you were spending your whole life with, but for her to suddenly be marrying someone else in the venue I paid for. I, well, you know what we have to do, doll? You gotta crash that wedding. That is terribly immature and beneath me and I know exactly what I'm going to wear. <laughs> 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 yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna hand out some awards here. This is a lot of the uh, uh, right. <laughs> I haven't been on TV in ages, but you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay, so Rebecca, not even invited. Love it. Okay. Nope, not even invited. Wow. Thing. So here's a question. How do we think that went for Rebecca? She got that news, <laughs> but she got a plan too. So, Which yeah, I, I feel like it went. I mean, I know it's bad news, but I feel like it went well, right? Like you're going in prepared. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I know everything. I had a battle plan for how we were going to maximize our fun at this reception. And then, and then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Alvin? Uh, no, I think it, was, it went well. It was positive for positive for everybody. All right. Okay. Excellent. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So we uh, need a Linda or a Regina scene. Uh, um, and uh, uh, we still haven't used the bachelorette party moment flashback either, too. Oh, that's uh, right. We don't. I we also this has to be it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I mean, so. we don't have to, I, but yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. So Linda is catering the bachelorette party. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay, so you get to figure out where it is. <laughs> Mark, uh, where it is? Um, oh, where is this bachelorette party? It's not. It can't be a White Castle. That's all I got to say. We already. <laughs> like, no, not well, a sponsor, I, I think, but you know what? We'll even we foster. I think. I think. <laughs> Regina, Regina, where do you think your um, your your bachelorette party is? Yeah. So it was. If it's with Rebecca, it has to be a fancy place, right? Because Martha's Vineyard and like. Right, what, no, but, it, but it's your choice. But it's your choice. It's your, it's your yeah. bachelorette party. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh yeah, my god. Like, yeah, maybe one of those like can be a different state. Yeah. Wherever those... bachelorette party is on Rebecca's dime. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. So wherever you wanted. Oh the my moon? gosh. The moon? No. <laughs> I'm such a him, but I was like Disneyland. Oh my mother a favor, but not <laughs> the moon. <laughs> It could be one of those those party buses where people just get sloppy, but it's a party. Oh, boat. oh, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh my I love God, that idea. Yes. That is okay. such an, uh, to me, that is such an American concept because we would never do that here. It is madness. <laughs> yeah, I love the party bus idea. I love okay. that so much. Right, right, right. Perfect, perfect. Champagne. Like I'm screaming this over the, 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 the music, which is the Vanka Passes Time. And everybody's <laughs> like playing at 300 yeah. decibels. <laughs> Come on, get it! And then, yeah, and I'm just like, I scream over at you, champagne. And then I, I wave a hand over. It's like, over here, more, more champagne. Everybody, this is a, and this is like a completely different Regina, right? From what we saw so far, like just <laughs> carefree, just really happy. And uh, Regina says, I'm about to marry the love of my life. We need to celebrate. OK, and then, like uh, Linda comes over, like dumps six champagne bottles with Regina and her friends, then quickly retreats to the corner of the bus to Google. Totally normal behavior in the year, <laughs> the year 20, 20, 20 something, it's totally. Yeah, Jay, and if now, you want to be and, just an NPC too, you can. And, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, sure, and sure. I've, 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 Linda has come up with the most cunning, most romantic, most foolproof plan possible, which is to wait for Regina to need to go to the bathroom that ambush her. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little pee or poop ambush, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I will say January is there too as one of Rebecca's friends and is like, so happy for you, girl. Yes, absolutely. You. You deserve everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can, I be the, can I be the person driving the party van? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, van? We've downgraded somehow? It's like a window oh, party van? Bus, sorry. Party limo, whatever it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I was like, where do we go to the bathroom in a party van? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. in January, January's leaning over to the the bus driver's like, "Hey, can you take us to these place, this list of places?" And it's a bunch of places that are very special to her and Rebecca. Oh, oh my that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's that young lady, you got it. No, thanks. Here's a twenty. <laughs> Thank you, kindly. So yeah, I think I think there's a moment where, like, on the way to the bathroom, right? Uh, Regina like falls against Rebecca, like. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Linda. You mean against? Linda or January? Who are you falling against? Oh, I was like falling against January, and then that's when Linda and, uh, and uh, my eyes lock, right? Let's have <laughs> a three way oh moment. <laughs> right, you're evil. Okay, yeah, so James, like, oh, oh, I, sorry, my I've, folly ass is showing. <laughs> no, 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 I love it. Yeah, yeah. January's like, oh, what? I've got you, like, voice lowering 80 decibels, and uh, but you're not, you can't even hear me, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like locked in. 
Like, <laughs> has the caterer always been this cute? <laughs> and then, and then, like Linda seeing the eye lock, like, like timidly comes over and says, "You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen." And then there's a teehee kind of moment. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Dude. I bet I'm you tell this to all the people you cater to. I'm sorry, but I Googled you and I know about your family and I don't care. I want to be with you no matter what. I love you. Oh. I think I... you are the most the most beautiful incandescent flame that I have ever seen. Let me be the moth to your to your evanescence. Wait, I broke at the evanescence part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's when someone screams, yeah, more evanescence! And then bring me to life starts playing. <laughs> but, but a Euro version, so there's a beat. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm dying! Can we end on that moment? <laughs> oh, no, I can hear it. I'm so mortified. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so perfect. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's end there. So good, so good. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Beautifully done. Oh my gosh. How do we <laughs> how do we um that was I would say that that was Calvin's scene uh, we set up too, because we wanted to, yeah, that was the big like like y'all were so hilarious. I couldn't remember whose scene it was. It was just again <laughs> utter chaos as usual. Yeah, know. it was beautiful. All right. Um Oh, but I'm fine with combining it, being at our two scenes just like earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Yeah. So that clearly went well for, for um, excuse me, for Linda. Linda, like, right? You, you eyes are like, oh. over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How, but here's the question, Jay. I'm sorry, Ray. You're not allowed to answer. Um, or you can, but don't if there's something that we don't know that you know. How do we think that went for Regina? Hmm. I think it definitely established what the later things are gonna happen. Like it's like, okay, this was this was a, a good scene that showed that you were kind of open to other things, but still I don't know, it was weird. It was weird. I'm mm -hmm. trying to think positively or negatively. My, well, my also, thought okay. my thought behind it was that in this one brief interaction with a stranger, Regina got from Linda what she had never ever been able to get from Rebecca, which is reassurance about the family and a declaration of love, like right off the bat. Because she never told her anything about the family. Like, this mm -hmm. is what's killing me. How is it you're able to Google and find out someone's secret crime family when like, doing a full background check didn't divulge it? What kind uh, of black web? That's, that's plot, that's plot. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> but right. what, if someone, what if someone fed Linda that information is what I'm dun, thinking. Dun, dun. Very well. Totally a plan. Totally a plan. Um, and I will say we did make a slight plot hole, but I don't care that uh, they had canceled the wedding before the invitation went out, but the bachelorette party was still on. But maybe they were just, you know, going for We don't care. We don't care. But in case anyone in chat tries to say anything, we don't care. They canceled the anything. wedding, but the e invites are free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. The party bus, you can't get that money. No. Um, all right. So that went positively as well for, oh, I already gave you a positive card, didn't I? I'm um, sorry. No, that did go for Ray. Okay. Um, so now we have, I'll say we have one, yeah, we have time for one more scene um, uh, with all of us, obviously. So are we, uh, how do we, do we want this to be the wedding itself? It's got to be the wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or think, the, um, I, think, yeah. I think it's like just before the vows are meant to be exchanged, right? Right before the walking <laughs> down of the aisle. Linda has texted everybody present and has said that it is very important that she sees everybody like together, even, and that and that she will wear a veil or something so that the, the, the brides look to each other to respect her her beloved's wishes, but yeah, it's very important to Linda. That's what Linda has, has done. Linda has texted everybody. Linda has wanted to say everybody needs to come together for, for one last thing. It's very important. It's vitally important. Okay. That's my thought. Is everyone okay with that? Does Linda have Rebecca's phone number? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She totally does. She totally does. <laughs> okay. I mean, she, she found the erotic poetry on, on Regina's phone. She definitely oh my has. Oh, God. 
that's your focus for Maybe she even texted like from Regina's phone. <gasps> you <laughs> sneaky! Oh, and of course, of course. So, for Rebecca so now Re Re Rebecca has received poetry from Regina, but about January. <laughs> Good lord! No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. What I meant was, um, Linda would have texted as if she were Regina, saying, "Rebecca, come see me right before the." Yes, the and so of course, of course, Rebecca yeah. would go. Oh my god! Yeah, gosh. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. The incandescent rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So we can we can start with you, like with you, Jay. You coming in ready to spit fire? Like, what the heck? Yeah. I'm 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 gonna. I I came here angry, but I I just I'm I'm here to listen. You texted me. Why? I I I did. I I did. You did. I did text you and I'm just yeah, like Yeah, look. Was this not I, you? But there are periods here. I don't know. <laughs> Period, I mean, love. I thought that was I mean. a little weird, but maybe you're maybe you're taking something that makes you more organized. Finally, I don't know. I no judgment. No, I just and everything is capitalized. That's kind of. <laughs> I figured maybe you finally turned your autocorrect back on. Right, okay. right. I, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm very sorry. I need to I need to come cleanish with everyone. So first of all, we need to establish a couple of relevant facts. Everybody in this room, including Regina, is in love with Regina. January oh. stands up and says, excuse me, how dare you? And it's just like, oh. just just booze dripping down her face. <laughs> and it's like, another, another. I, like, I just hold out the champagne bottle and you just take it. Yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, go on. No, you, you seem like you're on a roll. Well, clearly love is not enough. And love does not confer ownership. So you can do whatever you want, but for God's sake, leave me out of it. I have given you everything, and all I want is to be left alone at this point, um, unless you're saying you've changed your mind. I have, in fact, something that might change Regina's mind, which is oh. um, I've, you know, been very much in love with you over the last three and a half days. And, okay, Romeo. Okay. <laughs> and I, and I took, took the liberty to, to, to figure out who's, um, whose family she was because Regina is not the only one with dangerous family and I have significant experience extracting myself from situations such as that and placing myself in innocent looking jobs such as assistant, assistant caterer and camp counselor. I'm, uh, it's just all I'm saying is it's very fortunate that your entire extended family shares your allergic reaction to shellfish. <gasps> Did you just what? And uh, January is grabbing uh, Linda by the uh, I don't know the straps, whatever sort of dress she's wearing. What did you say? What did you do? Did you did you put something in white the White Castle? <gasps> no, of oh, course not. I would oh, never do oh, that so to my to my beloved. Oh, you so the I may have made it look like an accident that her entire mafia family is dead. Oh, that is the most diabolical and romantic thing anyone has ever done for me. Romantic, that's the word I was looking for. That's the I word I was looking for. I should leave you two sociopaths. To no, 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 Rebecca. Rebecca, you don't understand. I did this for you. Regina, you were so happy I will together. not be a party to mass murder. You didn't do anything for me. You did this for yourself. But I'm well, willing to let you marry her now because the only thing you holding don't tell the two me. of you back. You don't speak for her. You don't say, I'll let you marry her. I'm sorry. Are, is there some ownership here? Like, what is it? No, no, that is terribly inappropriate and I won't stand for it. The mass murder was bad enough, but this is just, this well, is anti-feminist. No, no, no. Well, no, no, uh, Rebecca. Uh, uh, the, the key words were looked like mass murder. They didn't actually die. It's so that any other families or, you know, syndicates or whatnot uh, think that they're all dead. So now they can all assume new identities. Did I get that right, yes. uh, Linda? I've been uh, imbibing quite a bit, so. No, absolutely that is what happened. Nobody actually 
bit it they bit the shellfish, but they did not bite the the, dust. Kick the bucket the shellfish <laughs> came in. Whatever kind They're of most... Xenatos gambit you're trying to do, the <laughs> least people you tell about it, the more likely it is to work. So maybe you should just no, I'm I'm telling you because Reg Regina is conflicted about marrying me because she still loves you, and I want Regina to be happy. And I want Regina to speak for herself. Oh yes, Regina, please. And also, I... I also, also just just to just to be absolutely one billion percent clear, I know that you also love January, and I get it. I understand. It's I... very important to me that our, all of our loves, all four or six or seventeen or however you call this. Flourish. And I'm fine with that. It's the 21st century, as I told January earlier. You know, marriage doesn't have to be between one woman and one woman. It can be between one woman, her best friend, the, the, the caterer. I she do met not consent to this anymore. <laughs> I'm just well, going to put my foot down right now. <laughs> uh, January is warming to this fact because it seems like the closest she'll ever be to being with <laughs> Regina. Uh, I don't know, Rebecca. I feel like this is kind of good for all of us. Uh... It, you, y'all can be happy. I am going to just take this entire bottle of dessert wine and this white chocolate port also, and I, I think I'm going to bid adieu to this entire situation. But Regina, please, before I go, are you okay? And uh, I think, like, at the same time that you grab the port, because... Regina knew you would go for it first. Um, <laughs> your hands meet, right? <laughs> what if we kissed by the white chocolate port? <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like, I just reach out and I say, I, I mean, if it's, I, I know Linda is a little um, gung ho to put it mildly, but if my family is really no longer a danger to you, I, I'm so sorry. I couldn't, I, I do still love you, Rebecca, but I understand if I'm too much of a mess. You're not too much of anything. I have been saying this, this whole time. You've never been too much. I just want you to feel like it's okay to be yourself and to talk to me. We can get through anything as long as we're communicating with each other. I don't know how many times I can tell you this. But I mean, if you, I'm you're willing to try. You're always holding back. No, you say you're willing to try, but you're always holding back. You have never been your full self with me. And that's all I've ever asked of you. Can you try, please? Even if my full self is very good at killing people since I was trained to do it since a young age? You do it with weapons. I do it with litigation. It's fine, honey. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. January starts slow clapping for the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at them. <laughs> and I and I think like at that moment, like holds holds uh, Rebecca's hand and looks at everybody else. We'll make it work. Yeah, we'll make it work. Exactly. And then, like nobody, nobody notices. But Linda's just like kicking the bucket of shellfish off off, off the side. <laughs> <laughs> as we as we see a uh, uh, chassis come by and just start like just going to town on the uh, <laughs> the bucket of fish or the spill bucket, and that's when like the drone camera sort of swoops out and up over a sunset on Martha's Vineyard as Regina's wedding commences with the two people that should have always been married, possibly at least. Um, oh, good job, everybody. That was beautiful. I love how it ended in the best day a cat ever had. Ooh. I, <laughs> So I spoke to producer Jess quietly behind the scenes, but we're going to do what we, we've done once before, where we just skip the aftermath because that was so beautiful and so emotional. I want it to end there. I don't want, I don't want to know what anyone, anything happens after that, if you all are okay with that. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy sorry. to share with you privately later what uh, normally we would then do the math again on these uh, positive negative cards. And then you find, you know, it's something just like you're destitute, you're in jail, you oh never were the same again, you know, but like, I feel like these these 
these two have been through so much and you know by correlation uh the other two as well but that i just want them to live in this happy moment together so yes we haven't Thank suffered enough so. yeah yeah <laughs> no, he's been a hard also you know 2.5 years plus more so um anyway uh, <laughs> so going in reverse order um i would love if you could uh please as as yourselves again so i need to re remove the mask uh of your fiasco character yeah get the kinks out all that sort of stuff but if you could let us know where people can find you on the uh the internet um and uh if you have any other shows coming up or any uh any sort of plugs that you want to do and we'll start with you jay we'll do jay ray and then calvin so please let us know all right, I'm Jay Justice. You can find me at that Jay Justice on all the things. I stream on Twitch a few nights a week. I'm also streaming on Black Fay Day, uh, which is a celebration of fantasy art by Black people doing cosplay and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to be a cast member in Into the Void on Friends Who Roll Dice channel, so that will be starting in a few weeks, and I'm excited for that one. If you like science fiction and like, it's like a matchup between Mass Effect Two and Picard, it's going to be dope. So yeah, definitely check that out. And yeah, I'm on Twitter most of the time, that Jay Justice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay. It was a pleasure uh, playing with you as well. Yeah, it was um, fun. Yeah. Um, Ray. You so good. Oh my God. You yeah, so absolutely amazing. You were so amazing, Jay. I'm so excited to see you once we're into the void. That's going to be so wild for me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, absolutely. So cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm Ray. My pronouns are he, they. You can find me on Twitter at Semper Hiccup, where I use too many save and win gifs. I endeavor to try to be one of the TTRPG himbos, uh, trying to uh, uplift my fellow uh, people of color and uh, gender queer folks just like me. And so, yeah. And aside from that, you can find me on Patreon at Sword Queen Games. Uh, some of, I have some, I have some big games coming out. Apocalypse Keys, Monsters Holding Back the Apocalypse is crowdfunding very soon. Like, so yeah, yeah. So you can keep up on Twitter, but yeah, that's me. Uh, how about you, Calvin? Hi, uh, I'm Calvin, uh, he, him. I've been your token cis man for the evening. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm mostly on Twitter as well at Ithela. I don't do a lot of RPG streaming, actually. This is a rare treat for me um, to sort of kick it back to my theater days where we did a ton of improv and stuff like that. Um, and it's also a chance for me to like sort of flex my writerly muscles. I knew this ending would happen more or less from the start of the, the, the thing, by the way, and I was engineering it slowly towards the towards this this moment um so i'm very happy that everybody enjoyed it and i'm very gratified that we got that we all stuck the landing together um in terms of stuff that i'm working on i'm involved with netrunner which is a two-player cyberpunk card game you can play netrunner for free uh n-i-s-e-a.net you can pay what you want you can get it professionally printed um it is in my opinion the best game ever created in any medium for two players. I'm also working on writing some RPGs. I write, I've written for the Twilight Imperium RPG, which is like a space opera, um, not quite so Mass Effect. The, the scale is a lot, a lot grander, um, but it's like, you know, galactic civilizations, conflict, council meetings, war. But the, the RPG is about like, you know, individual people trying to prevent galactic threats from, from taking hold and stuff. Little, little bit like, um, like galactic, um, galactic freelancers who are underfunded, understaffed and have to be like, we'll handle the emergency that's going to shatter the peace kind of, kind of a deal. And, uh, yeah, that's me. I, again, I'm on Twitter at I T H A Y L A Ithela and, uh, Thank you so much, everybody, for, for coming and watching my horrific romantic disaster that I have inflicted <laughs> on everybody here. Calvin's wedding is what we'll call it from now on. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much to all three of you. It is it was a uh, we took a couple months off uh, and this was a wonderful way to get back in the swing of things. And I wanted to play with all of you for a while. And uh, it was fantastic. Um, I would first like to say thank you to Jess. Uh, aka Fawning Games, who is our uh, producer, is doing all the hard stuff with the overlay. Uh, please go watch uh, their stuff. They do a lot of game streaming and like chill, relaxing times. Thank you again to Kristen, uh, our producer from Bully Pulpit Games, who made, uh, who Bully Pulpit, who produces the uh, 
Gasco Games, and thank you to Roll20 and our Roll20 daddies for helping us out here and letting us be on the stream. Thank you to everyone in chat. Um, oh, right, me. Uh, I'm Jen Vaughn. You can find me online at the Genya, T H E J E N Y A. I don't know. I had to look over there at the wall to spell that, but that's what, how it goes. Uh, you can find me on multiple. I've got a podcast. Um, we just started our new uh, tween or tweenager, which I'm going to take now. Uh, thank you. Uh, campaign in D20 Danes. We are an all femme presenting. Um, a podcast uh, um, where uh, words come first, uh, or you know, creative problem solving. Uh, we're less about violence, and we have a new show called Wanderleaf, where we all play uh, tweens. And uh, I'm also on a, uh, I'm also I'm just forgetting Urban Shadow stream called uh, Gilded Shadows every other Wednesday over on the Venture Maidens channel. And one more podcast where we play the Ryutama game. So if you like Studio Ghibli style stuff where there's a lot of emphasis on travel and delicious food, uh, please listen to uh, the Crows, find the Crows Codex online and you can listen to Poison of Prophecy. Uh, I'm also a senior game designer for Studio Black Flag. So the next time you see me uh, this, for this show, I will actually be broadcasting from France as I am moving there to join the team. Nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope it goes well. Thank you, Duolingo. Uh, yeah, uh, everyone, please come visit me. Yeah, uh, and um, but I do also have a crowd a comic that I'm crowdfunding over at Crowdfunder called Backstory, and it's what if? <laughs> I'm realizing now it's a very fiasco based thing, but it was we made it pre the show, and it's what if four teenage girls found a superhero artifact and just immediately started making all the wrong choices with it. So uh, if you if that sounds fun to you, go over to Crowdfunder. No E like that, like so you know it's a tech company. Dot com slash backstory. You can get it there. Also, my new comic book took about a creepy witch in the woods that I super identify with that steals children <laughs> uh, is out in bookstores everywhere. So um, <laughs> thank you again to Fiasco, or sorry, thank you again to chat for being here, Fiasco. Thank you, Bully Pulpit, Roll20, Jess, Kristen, everyone else has been out there, Steve Segetti, all that stuff. And thank you, and we will see you. Uh, next month on August for Fiasco Fridays. So, bye. bye. Happy wedding. Mazel tov. <laughs>